had of Williams, Breland, Sykes, Hayes, and Montgomery. The Sky starting lineup features. Balls in the air, tap controlled by the Dream. Let's play some basketball. Dishes to Hayes with a shot clock at five. Her bounce pass intercepted by Vandersloot. Puts her head down, shovels it off to Diamond to Shields. And Everything just opens up. They're, they're most dynamic when they're most unselfish. Leading the WNBA in assists per game is they're the last. facing a Sky team that allows the most points per in the paint per game in the league. Another long range three, a jumper rail by two as the Shields look for space, lobs it inside. Lavender got it blocked. Last three games. Plants the screen for Hayes. Feeds Breland for a three. Down the well for Jessica Breland. Just her fourth three of the season. But she gives the Dream the lead and a steal on the inbound. Hayes drives into Dolson against the bounce. Against another former teammates at UConn. Here's the Shields pitching out. Quigley. Yes. Deadly. And wide open is almost automatic. How about that spin and finish by Great. Hayes? Pump fake, it's Montgomery in the air, and the floater Alan falls. Hayes. Montgomery fakes, sidesteps. Her three, good. You Quigley with her eyes up. Quigley got bumped from behind, floats it in, and a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, take the bump, but when you're sure. Manley. Over Dole 5 of 15 inside of two minutes in our opening quarter. The stop and pop in traffic by Hayes. She thought she was fouled all out to the sky. Copper shakes on Casorla, hits Faulkner, and the teardrop in her fifth game. After bouncing back from a torn ACL in July of last year, the step back by Bentley, and she answers. And a two man game with Parker, almost stolen away again. Parker takes it hard on Breland. So that's who's here on the six. So she's good to see uh, some familiar faces. Bentley knocks it down. Team that features three former Huskies. Dream have a pair with Montgomery and Hayes. The turnaround by Parker to beat the attic of his star to Atlanta coach's career is certainly more nomadic than what you'd expect for a former number two overall pick. The reverse. Gabby Williams. Giving her these opportunities and challenges offensively to run the point. It's fun to watch. Logged some time at the point. Coming off a season-high tying 12 in the lost Indiana. They think it's Bentley 9. Faulkner, the floater. Died, who came in with the second-best three-point percentage as a team in the league. Just one for its first seven from downtown. The stick back, though. Timberwolves. Williams jumping with the do. Slaps it down to Faulkner. Goes one on three. Threads the needle to Williams, who finished out to as many as eight. Well, and this is her guarding the point guard, right? And, and she got Renee Montgomery to pick that ball up. Breland digs in and finishes. the official there. <laughs> Come on, you got to give me something. Casorla, splash. Palmer, form of cancer and six months of chemotherapy. And then it, what's incredible. The loss to Connecticut on Tuesday. That's her second foul. A runner too heavy by Hayes, but Williams there to clear. Second highest rebounding total of her career. Really benefited the Sparks as well. They needed to clear some cap space once they traded Bentley. Bentley, 12 points on Wednesday. She's got a dozen here. Dolson steps into the three, trying to answer, and she does. Interesting reversal as well as the Shields connects on the three. set. I thought it was going. She was itching for it. Takes the dish from Vandersloot. Can she tally an assist for Vandersloot? And a technical foul has just been called. That's on Tiffany Hayes. Just ranging out above the three-point line as Stop. Bentley was preparing for her free throws. Clear out for Breland with a step back. Rims off. Rebound kept alive. Bounces out of bounds. Oh. Hayes took a hard shot to the face. It stays with Atlanta. But right now, Tiffany Hayes is down in a heap. Right on the court there, too. Yeah, I mean, she certainly took. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. So they're swooping in. And yeah, definitely some contact. We caught the opposite side of it. We saw the Pardon the pun. On this dream team, and she rarely will show her discomfort or her pain. A technical foul on Diamond to Shields. I thought Copper was the one who did the stare down with coffee. WNBA assist leader around Williams with the scoop and the score. Sky open up with possession. 
Lavender turns, hooks, and scores. Early footwork. The Shields doesn't pop the three, takes it inside with the offhand. Closed out by Bentley. Skips to Vandersloot. Out to Dolson, trailing the play, knocks down the three. Talking to Coach Wade before the game, the first word he said to us, Andy, was chemistry. That's what we have. Sykes, pass batted by Vandersloot, takes it away. But now thrown away again to Breland. And Breland with two more. Pushed on that. Lavender has to know she's a big mismatch underneath. Take your time. Breland from the mid-range again. As opposed to her working for the one she wants. Vandersloot off the give and go from Dolson. Rips that away from Breland. To Shields. Drives, hits, and one. And getting mid-range and pulling up for three. But this time, I mean, she, the athleticism. Seem and the to take that next step become a playoff team and a team that can do some damage in the postseason. To use that as a measuring stick and even the game at Connecticut, Andy, that's a nice offensive rebound. And Here's Breland, the pump fake, the blow by on Parker and the finish by Breland. Let Renee Montgomery go off and get comfortable. Copper heaves and hits from three. The remainder of the game. After taking a shot to the chops in the closing seconds of the second quarter, Breland for three, hits it. Coach making her home debut for the Dream. In low to Parker, turns and lays it in. And after starting 5 of 10 from 3, the Dream have missed 11 of their last 12. Faulkner from long range hits it. Back to Coffee for a 3. Would have been a pretty finish. Bentley the rebound, puts it back up and hits. You got to sit down and get stops, Andy. That's where it starts. And that's what this team believes in. If they can sit down and defend. Well, that's too themselves. easy, though. Nadu gets her second field goal. Coffee over Nadu. Splashes down that. I have a sense with 6.16 to go. James Wade will start shuttling in his starters. Gabby Williams rattles down. 15% from three. Four of 26. No hesitation. Bentley with the bank shot. Copper. The pull up and the finish. And the, which would top her 8.60 of last year. Right now, focus simply on the win. Bentley with a high bank shot Coffee over Dolson. On the run, as Casorla trailing. Coffee with the Euro, stripped by Quigley. It stays with shot clock at three. Leans in, no good. Rebound, Lavender. Vandersloot left alone, and she makes and now, it. At the time, she's a great kid, but said, you know, she is maybe one of the, she is maybe the best passing big that came to appreciate that, she had to step up in the absence of Hayes, and she has done a great job for her team tonight. That's a tough. 7% from three last year. This is her 11th season. She's never been below 30% for a season in three-point percentage. Played up the road to Kennesaw State in college, talking with Allie Quigley, the all-star. Allie Quigley just one made three. She's on pace. Yeah, when was that? Mid-July. It it's all scrambled, <laughs> right? But, and, and so you'd hope that Atlanta has confidence. A lot of people thought they'd cool off after that strong start, but the best record in the league, Casola misfires from three. Sky can dribble out the clock, and they pull away from the dream in the second half to capture their second game of the season against Atlanta. Another disappointing defeat for the dream tonight who fall 87-75. I'll try to snap a now seven-game losing streak Tuesday at State Farm Arena against the Minnesota Lynx.